Hey Leo, welcome to your WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. Um, this will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. If you need information about my personal readings as well as um, my extended readings, all the links are in the description box below. Also, you can go ahead and visit my website nomadsoulwarrior.com. So all the relevant information about my reading channel will all be there. And to everybody, I hope you're all staying well, um, taking care of yourself, and um, staying safe. All right, let's go ahead and do your reading, Leo. What do we have for Leo in love? This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter in love. Seven of Cups, the Knight of Cups. The Queen of Wands, the Fool, the Chariot, and the Six of Cups, Temperance, the Devil, and the Seven of Wands. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords. Underneath that, you have the Star. All right. Leo, I see that in, um, at least for this week or during the time frame that you're watching this reading, um, a lot of things are happening in your life, even if possibly we're all doing the social distancing. Um, I do get the feeling that um, there's a lot of things that you are involved in. It, this could literally be you from, you know, working from home or wherever you're situated. And I'm um, still trying to um, look through a lot of um, opportunities. This could be online business and things like that. In terms of love, there is someone here, um, Leo, that you are connecting with. And um, this person actually is somebody that you are... that you're wanting to be in your life. Yeah. This is someone that um despite all the business in life, you can't get this person out of your head. Mm -hmm. And um a moment in time in the past, this was a person that truly was the focus of your of all your intention. Yeah. You could probably be in, in a getting to know stage or has been connecting with this person for for a while. And during that time where you were really connecting, um, it feels like it feels like home. It feels like home for you to be with this person. Um, perhaps you even started to get to know one another and um, fell in love with one another. Mm -hmm. And I do see, though that um, there could be love, like I said. Um, you nurtured, because you nurtured this connection, Leo, um, during the time that, uh, you know, being with this person, you're wanting to care for them, you're wanting to care for the connection at least, despite the fact that you're very busy. But I do see that um, your person, it feels like this is someone who, This is someone, Leo, who may not be um, much of a planner. This is someone who just take the reins as it comes or somebody who is, yeah, somebody who can be outspoken, somebody who can be, um, who can be very passionate at times and um, sometimes they are also, you know, in their down moments, which is pretty common for everybody, yeah? We all have our ups and down but um in particular for this person this is um, literally someone that may appear to you as a non-committal energy um primarily because they may be showing up they may be coming towards you um showing you that they are available and they're willing to share their time money effort and energy with you 
But there's always that um, limitation that you can never go beyond um, a certain point with this person. They make themselves available, but um, it's not necessarily... I couldn't see here that it's necessarily more on the emotional involvement, but um, it feels like this person has a very st strong individualism. Yeah, and They respect boundaries. This is someone who would allow somebody to come in. But I feel that it's also pretty um, healthy, you know, if somebody has that um, sense of uh, strong, healthy, and firm boundaries, yeah? But, um, but the thing here, though, is that I feel that in this connection, you're wanting more. You're wanting to have a rather more deep um this could be some form of intimacy or deeper connection with someone. Yeah, somebody that you can open up yourselves to as well as them sharing with you um, things about their life, about what's going on with them. I feel that someone here is maintaining a, trying to maintain a healthy boundary with somebody, with, with another person whichever you are in this um, situation, whilst the other person is wanting uh, more integration. So this could uh, literally be a relationship going into, like, you know, somebody's wanting to move to another level of commitment. Yeah. This could be your other person, you see. And this could be you um, also waiting for that... Uh, decision from them mm -hmm. but I feel that there is this impending um, offer of um, more openness to one another impending offer of um, shall we say commitment yeah mm -hmm. while the other person here seems to be an advocate of a you know Taking this into a long term, but doesn't have to put some labels on it mm -hmm. in terms of defining what a relationship is. And that would put you, Leo, in a situation where you feel like, you know, maybe this person has other options. Maybe the reason why this person doesn't want to put a label on this is because um, their certainty about being with you is not on the table just yet. And that kept you wondering. Mm -hmm. That may even have caused uh, some form of disconnect here. yeah, And has led you feeling confused as well. Yeah, Has led you feeling confused. If you have, um, you know, if probably you have um, had some discussions with this person and um, you may have expressed what you wanted um, and hoping for the other person to give you a rather positive response, but unfortunately you did not get that. Mm -hmm. And then it turned out to be like, you know, instead of you wanting to commit, then you are now at the stage of, oops, Perhaps you're the only one wanting to commit into this situation while the other person isn't. And therefore, I feel that um, you kind of did a two steps, uh, two backward steps, so to speak, just to get a full and clear understanding of this. But it doesn't mean that you don't love or you stop um, caring for this person. You still do. It's just that it seems like there is a pause that was made here due to the fact that the other person wasn't really up and out, at least during the time when you probably have um, had the discussion and um, somebody had tried to open up some form of emotional expression to the other. Yeah. With regards to the person that you're dealing with, um, in, yeah, this person definitely has um, love for you. They care for you whenever they think about you. It's, you know, they, they recall the good, happy memories together. And this is someone to, like I said, that he's always, when you talk to them, it feels like they are always on the go and always saying yes to um, your ideas. Yeah. But there's just something in this person that you cannot um, pin down. Yeah. 
But nevertheless, the reason possibly why um, the reason why this person is not really um, giving in to a negotiation or to a um, a discussion and putting it a, a full stop to it is primarily because this is the type of person Leo who wants to um, be with someone take things day by day and um, getting to know one another they don't have a problem falling in love with you but that doesn't mean that once you know there is that specific date that both of you have to be in love with one another and then you you get married at some this is someone who's not that this is someone who's rather spontaneous and um, someone also who is not in a rush so I'm not sure the age or whatever wherever this person is at right now in their face in their life um, but the way I see it this is someone who would make themselves available to you but not ready to uh, put an ink to it to whatever this situation is for both of you mm -hmm. I also don't see um, third party here or or perhaps another love connection. I don't see that. This is just a person who is who is born like that, you know? Um, a free-spirited kind of person. Mm -hmm. And the way I feel is that once this person gets to a point where they are comfortable with you, comfortable with the, the togetherness you've had, and um, that would, you know, commitment will flow in. Yeah. But it's going to take some time it's going to take some time it's not even going to take like weeks or months this is someone who would possibly um allow the connection to go on unlabeled for let's say two to three years you know or four years and above and yeah for for some people that you know if you don't get that commitment um that's a red flag for other people yeah or, or for some so I leave that up to you. But this is someone who is, you're dealing with someone who is like that. I mean, the, the energies I am getting here. And I feel you know that because now you are stepping back and seeing things on, as how they are right now. Mm -hmm. um, this person too has, I feel that they have some beliefs that were inculcated in them while they were young perhaps even you know childhood experiences or even the model of um, relationships that they grew up with like the, the relationships of the parents that this person had or you know the relatives or the, or the people that um, you know they grow up with basically so yeah I, I feel that there is a matter here of um, if you really want this person because I see that you are very passionate I feel that um, sex wise there is no problem with this i feel that you click and the passionate the attract um, being attracted to one another is not a problem but the thing is is your belief um, um beliefs and ideals in line with one another yeah it feels like this could have been a perfect match but not quite mm -hmm. that's what i see leo for now and um yeah um, you may even feel that this person is a little bit stubborn because they wouldn't um, kind of under try to understand your view, but this is someone who has very strong founded beliefs from young. Yeah, that to them, it's not because they don't want to commit, it's just that they have some beliefs that you may need to understand in order to see their perspective too. Mm hmm Okay, that's all I have for you, Leo. I hope this gives you insights. And um, if you want more readings, um, I do have readings on the um, screens and also on my YouTube channel. You can go ahead and check them out. Otherwise, um, do leave me comments and let me know how this resonates with you. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell. That would uh, help me a lot. If this is Ruby Potways, thank you for stopping by.